Hello everyone, don't mind my vast stampede um, tapestry behind me. I rearranged the house some and like I don't want to show all my stuff behind me. You know, secrets. So, let's not mind that. And we're going to do a reading today. Um, we're going to do the karmic, the masculine, and the feminine. Karmic's your first as always. You know, last but not the least, right? I feel like it's way too loud. Hold on. Okay, that's a little better. It was just tinged too loud for me. Alright, Carmix, we'll start with you. I didn't tell you this is Gretchen. She's my little protector. Um, more like a gargoyle, but same difference. She's a good girl. Alright, cards. Please tell us what's going on with the Carmix at this point in time. Everyone gets so dramatic about the divine play, and I don't understand why. But that's just me. But yeah, anyway, everyone gets so dramatic about the divine play. Which is just like, you know, for me, someone who, um, who is, uh, mind you, I'm one of the people who, um, I am not addicted to the game. It's very rare I come back. Maybe once in a while, but someone's really got to convince me, right? And for me, the divine play really doesn't matter. Not as much as it does to you, Karmix, but that's because I've already done this shit before. Some of you, not so much. In fact, that lack of commitment seems to be getting to y'all a little bit, eh? That sucks. Yeah. Lack of victory. If that. Mmm. That really sucks, man. Like, and like I've said before to you, I really don't give a shit. Like, a lot of people get mad at the car mix. I'm not getting mad at you. Because it's not like you know any better. That's like, I can't keep a hold of my cards. But, that's beside the point. Car mix, let's see what's going on with you. I'm a Capricorn, and I know if you're not a Capricorn, you can't sustain this like we can. You know, Capricorns are one of the few signs who thrive with negative energy and are, and are able to make it positive. So if you're in my shit, get the fuck out. Yeah. Ooh. Those two cards are interesting. Three of Cups. Nine of Cups. Okay, so like, over here you're dealing with making a head over heart decision about the toxic nature of a relationship, as some people would call it. I like saying unhealthy because unhealthy makes more sense than toxic. Toxic means poisonous. Most people can live in a relationship like this. Not very well, but they can live in it. You know, survival and comfort are two different things, right? But trying to make a head over heart decision about this bad relationship up here that isn't really serving anybody but keeping people trapped for the most part and then over here where you you're, you're over here looking at third parties thinking about having a good time party and all that shit um trying it's smiling because you're still getting what you want in your brain or what will make you have that cheesy eaten grin but the world is reversed in what you're doing as well as this Queen of Pentacles, which could be Capricorn's card. Also, Taurus or Virgo. And the Princess of Cups, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Mind you, Capricorn right here in Libra with this one right here, right? And the vibration for my dear Carmix. Hmm. 
what is your vibration right now? Ooh. Lack of clarity. You guys don't really know what the fuck is happening. Yeah. That sucks. It also sounds like a personal problem. Mm. Yeah, something to do with your happiness right here, right? Alright, Karma, let's take a look at what you are doing with all of this. Lack of clarity, because it seems like throughout this entire thing, you really don't know what the fuck's going on. Like, look at you. It's like, okay, if this Queen of Pentacles, because I always like saying that since, like, Divine Masculine is not on the bonus throne, Divine Feminine can't be either. So the Queen of Pentacles is usually what the Empress becomes when she can't be the Empress, or Divine Feminine, she becomes the Queen of Pentacles, the senior court card, the most mature of them all, because everybody else is like, no. So, uh, you know. But it seems like something didn't come together. With, the, with what you're trying to do with the Creed of Pentacles or the Divine Feminine because she's recovered. In this deck, it's like the Page of Cups is about recovery from emotional wounds and being able to open up to love again. And I, and I don't know why. I just feel like you guys are kind of pissed about that. Just a little bit because the last time I read for you guys, you were pretty pissed. I don't know why, but yeah. So, the devil could be Capricorn's card, um, but it doesn't have to be, but it usually goes with a relationship where, like, the vibration of two people together or is so negative and bad and unhealthy that it just creates this devil in between that keeps the vibration going, you know, it kind of, like, expands that nasty frequency. Options when it comes to commitment, or maybe you're a little bit confused about where you want to commit to. Yeah, like this is like your the relationship with divine masculine, right? And it's like you're really confused about the relationship or the commitment right now. Like, you know, and there are options in front of you too. Or you really don't have to make this commitment with someone you really don't even like. I mean, like, yeah, if you're unhappy, you can leave. Like, the door's open. Like, no one's gonna hold it against you. Could be a Leo in this somewhere. Possibly. Oh, here's justice twice. Is this justice to come out of this? crazy headspace you got going on where you're very much not getting clarity and you have emotional confusion right here, right? What about this Justice card? Could be Libra, once again. Head over hard decision. You're trying to pick one over the other, but you're very much split down the middle. Yeah, because this relationship really doesn't make you happy, once again. Like, you're not happy with this relationship. Like, you're together. You are together with your masculine, but you're not fucking happy about it. The relationship's bad juju, as demonstrated up here with the devil card. Maybe you're in a relationship with the Capricorn. I'm sorry. Like, if there's one thing Capricorn is good at, it's giving people a hard time. Because everyone gives us a hard time. So I'm sorry about that. But if not, you know, that's your relationship. That is, like, you're not happy in a relationship. 
Yeah, you're like dragging your feet with it too. Like, you know you're unhappy, but you're just sticking around it because it's just like, what? Like, I mean, like you're looking around at all your options when it comes to this commitment, you know? Three of Cups in your mind. What are you thinking about with this celebration of indulgences? Oh, 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 look at this. Like, Divine Masculine starting to gain some clarity where you technically don't. You aren't getting clarity, but he is. Rule of three. Is this witchcraft? Does he know he's... Did you been fucking around or something? Have you been up to something? Like, I know you've been up to something. I just don't know what. Like, I watch other tarot readers, but that doesn't mean I know. Because if he doesn't show up in my cards, I really can't see. But it's like... Y'all have been up to something. And it's like... This is almost reminds me of the rule of three in Wiccan, right? But... These people are all conjuring something. Like... <laughs> friends, family, association, society, and it's like, what is this about? Does he know what you're doing? Because that's not good. Or do you think he, 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 he knows what you're doing? Because you don't have any clarity right now. Two seconds. Oh my god, my nose has been bugging me for days. Like, I've been on vacation and days just being bugged by my nose, and it's ridiculous. What else can come out with the Emperor and the Ace of Swords? Mm, I got two Aces, but they're not really together. I feel like there are options that are nothing but disappointed and someone really doesn't want to think about. Like, once again, like with the Seven of Cups right here, options, right? There are options to juggle, but someone doesn't want to take the time to juggle them correctly. And that's why they're coming up as nothing but a disappointment. Like, the one that they choose turns out to be the disappointment or some shit. Because the Page of Pentacle came up reverse, so I assume it's one of those. Ugh. Also another Divine Feminine card. The Queen of Wands. Because of that energy. Or he thinks that's you. How you've been trying to portray yourself to be. He's seen the truth about this uh, throne you've been sitting on, right? Like, because I could be Divine feminine too but like not when the queen of pentacles is upright in here you know you know it took some time to notice to see how things came out right this nine of cups down here in your thoughts as well where you got a wish fulfillment right oh oh Someone realizes that's nothing but a nightmare coming out of it now. Like, usually, um, this could be isolation for the wrong kind. I feel like someone is definitely isolating themselves because they're realizing whatever they wished for was exactly what they asked for. Which was Divine Masculine. Um, the problem is, is that the Divine Masculine is a dick. Okay, like, there, like, there's a reason why he went to you, Karmic. It's not because you're better than the Divine Feminine. It's because you're easier. He doesn't have to put in any effort. You are literally, like, what a, um... Am I tripping or not, say? Um, uh, bottom bitch. You're just the fucking hoe he smacks first. 
He would never lay a hand on Divine Feminine. No, 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 no. He knows better because she won't put up with that shit. You will, though, because you're desperate. That's the difference. That's why he doesn't respect you that much because you'll let him. Keep that in mind with your next relationship because this is a lesson for you, too. figure out what's going on it's like cancer pisces scorpio i feel like you're trying to keep your like you look so fucking mean you know you look mean like you got a cap on your cup so no one knows what you're thinking or you're dealing with emotionally but it's like you're just sitting there looking at it like that bitch you know like one of those kind of vibe things i don't know what this is like but it definitely feels like you're angry. <sighs> um, hmm. You're angry that these, this is about to come to an end. Well, look at this. This re toxic relationship with the devil again, but this time reverse is coming to an end. Someone's going to take a leap of faith, but I feel like it's not going to be towards the uh, con artist right here, right? Or maybe you should try to take this advice. Because, like, I mean, like, this is a fear for you. This is what you're looking at in your cup. That... Someone's going to take a leap of faith of you because they're going to realize the relationship isn't healthy at all. And it's like, you have this lack of clarity. You don't realize that it's fucking unhealthy at all. Like, and I'm not saying you're wrong for what you're doing. What I'm saying is... Is that you're kind of fucked, man. Like, you, like genuinely fucked. Like, you should probably... Like, I'm just saying, like, I would not put myself down so much as to be, like, in competition with another person. I, there's nobody to compete with. Either you want me or you don't. You, uh, you, you want to tell me, like, you know, you want to, that there are other people you can hang out with? Good, you can go hang out with them and you can leave me the fuck alone with that attitude. Don't bring that jealousy shit with me. That's how I am. Y'all need to get some self-esteem. The world reversed, right? Something didn't come to completion. Um, something didn't work out the way you were hoping. I really feel like you guys are doing black magic, and I don't know why. Oh, because of karma. Karmix. Karma stepped in, and that's why nothing got completed the way you wanted it to be. Possibly that's why you got this lack of clarity. This false idolation in the mind, this uh, error in perspective. Oof. Yeah, karma came in, and someone is looking to roll fairly while having their back to the victor of sorts, you know? It's like you're determined to roll whatever, but you're by yourself, and then you're somebody over here having a celebration with everybody else who isn't around you. It's like the contrast, right? You're both just facing the opposite direction. This person's alone, and this person's surrounded by people. They are not a king, but it doesn't matter because they're the victor. Uh, Queen of Pentacles also could be divine feminine at play right here. That's her card when she's the eldest court queen here. All right, look at dude. Like usually the way I scale the Empress right, if she's not our Empress it's like she goes down to the Queen of Pentacles, then Queen of Swords, Queen of Wands and Queen of Cups is her most immature state she's here 
the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups is who you are right now. Not only are you sitting there trying to look pretty, um, you're sitting there in your head worried about your emotions and how you're feeling and having a ugly look on your face. All while doing it, just looking all bitchy and shit like you're all mad. Yeah, Queen of Wands, or Queen of Pentacles, right? Um, she walked away in Spider Cups being full because she was tired of the shit talk. But she also knew that there wasn't going to be any movement, so she had to pick a, a, a something, you know. And she chose to be by herself and put up with your bullshit. Simple as that. Why? Because you're uh, not worth it. I don't know what the fuck that was. Um. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Queen of Pentacles right here. This person who's by themselves, they're getting over this shit. They're at the crossroads now, and 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 at this point, they're they're not even like letting the swords stick them in the back now. Like, they were in that energy of, um, almost, like, stabbing themselves as an effort to keep the betrayal alive, but now they're, like, past that. They're at the crossroads. They're like, no, I'll manifest my own shit and not worry about this anymore. Now, since, like, the Ace of Swords is here, there's a chance that, like, the Emperor or the Divine Masculine is con mentally confused, much as you are, when it comes to your nasty attitude, right? And if this were right side up... Someone is being offered release from some betrayal that are having a hard time surrendering, feeling like a martyr in it all, having to let go. But instead, it's just like, nah, they aren't even offering this pinnacle. Like, she's not even concerned enough to offer this pinnacle. She's just like, no, because the last time I did this, this happened, y'all can go wherever. But then we got the Princess of Cups right here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, once again, somebody is recovering from old wounds and whatnot. Wanting to live again. How romantic. This Princess of Cups opening up for emotions or whatever, right? There is a lack of communication that's bringing on the tower and just making the Divine Masculine act out way more mature and immaturely than what he normally does. Like, totally not even giving a shit about your feelings, right? Yeah. 
dude, what are you doing? Like... Okay, I'm back. So... You want to recover. Open yourself up for more love, right? The problem is, is that... This household is fucked. And no matter how much you try to open your heart up... It won't work because this relationship... There was too much infidelity. There was too much shit going on. There's too much overindulgence. There's too much betrayal. Like... Like, you're... Trying... To control everything so much to where you're a victor that you aren't. To the point where you're going to be left alone. You know? Like, you want to offer this cup, but there's just been too much fucking shit to fix things. And you just don't have the ability to see it right now. You know? But... That was reading for the karmics. You all have a good day, and thank you for watching my video. Bye-bye.